everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout again today. And today I am going to dig deep into my stash and I'm going to use that uh, transparency there with the flowers on it with the scalloped edges to it. That is by KI Memories. It's the Sheer Delights um, Small Flowers 1 from 2008 eight you guys so in the meantime i was um looking at what kind of of um paper i wanted to mat that photo on and eventually i decided to do the stripe paper there from l studio or le studio sienna the adorable paper so that is also an older line too now the pinks the two pinks are really close so I'm going to take my memento dewdrop ink in gray flannel and I'll ink those edges but I still want another separation between the the transparency and that photo of my granddaughter I did toy with that green because she has a bright green plate there but I didn't want to emphasize the plate I wanted to emphasize the picture so that's the the difference that two of them would make. So I found that lovely um, pink paper and then this arrow paper actually struck, struck me first and that was the back of the stripe paper which is the L Studio Sienna and Adorable. Um, there is a piece of basil cardstock in um, just white there. I don't remember which white it is. Now I am toying with using that pink flower paper anyway and then decide that really I like it better without it, that I really like how the photo is popping, uh, popping off the background right now. So then I'm kind of playing around a little bit with some of the cut aparts and three by four cards from the Sienna line, trying to decide what I want to do if I want, how I want to journal here. And I kind of know where that photo is going to land. So then I took my, um, my I took my papers there and put a little bit of ATG on the back of the transparency where that photo is going to land. Then I am taking that three by four card there, which is the L Studio Sienna Cut Apart and I don't know which what the name of that paper was it's a much older line I mean I think that's from like 2014 or 2015 then I have this little flare it's um, a flare from Amy Tangerine it's a gold mylar flare from one of her collections and yay me that's the absolute last one so I am going to actually use that up I also found that wood veneer up there that says beautiful and that is the last piece from the Sienna wood veneers and I'm going to use that on this layout as well. So I did add that butterfly die cut there which is from the Noteworthy Bits and Pieces which is the what Ellie Studio calls their, um, their die cuts and I'm kind of playing around with am I going to add anything in here I'm thinking it needs at least another piece here but I'm just not finding the right one and I'm going through my box of Ellie studio die cuts and cut aparts there kind of looking at what I have in pink and I'll prob probably remark on this a little bit more but um, as I am doing the voiceover for this I am back to work so those beautiful nails long nails are gone um, I still do sometimes do some of the polish I was using, uh, but I haven't um, I haven't done that in a while. At this point, I was not working, so my nails were beautiful. <laughs> so anyway, that's um, Color Street Echo Adorable, by the way, in case any of you do Color Street. All right, so I'm going to ink all my die cut and bits and pieces here just to help pop them off the background because this is all pretty pale pink uh, and I want it to stand out at least a little bit here. Now, I'm still thinking I need a third piece underneath that butterfly and the pretty flare there. Just having that one was. Um, more cream colored 
So I really like the color of this label, but I don't like the white on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the white pieces, the white outline here, and just use the pink. So I'll solve that issue, and I like that much better. I think that blends really well, and it gives the flare and the butterfly something to rest on here. Now one of the things, I'm just going to mount those that scalloped card, um, and the reason I'm, I'm mounting it on white is because it's going to back up to something else in my albums, and you won't see through it. Now if you wanted to, you could just put this in as the, the plain transparency. Don't put anything behind it, and you'd still see other pages behind it, but you'd be able to look at it without that. In this particular case, I'm just going to back it. I just don't want to see anything behind it. All right, now I did add that heart die cut there from Ellie's Studio. And that again was in my bin of uh, die cuts and things. So the whole thing about this layout here that I'm, I'm trying some alphas out is, this is a picture of my granddaughter at breakfast one day. And oh my gosh, her hair has gotten so curly. Um, she's two now. And and in this picture, she was already two. She, um, her hair has not grown a ton. It's actually been fairly short, but it's gotten so curly and it's actually really started to grow now. So um, before she ends up having any sort of haircut, we wanted to get those curls documented. So that's what this uh, layout is gonna be titled, is those curls. And again, still playing, I was thinking about using that polka dotted alpha, but I didn't, I think I didn't have all the letters, if I remember correctly, that I needed. So then I went to this foam alpha, which is the Giggles alpha, and I'm going to be able to MacGyver to get a C in there so that I can use this particular alpha. All right, so there's the L and the S there. Okay, then I found that little sticker there, that Remember sticker. It's from the LA Studio uh, Sienna stickers. They used to make small sheets of stickers that would go with their collections back when they did 12 by 12 collections. They haven't done a 12 by 12 collection since I think Noteworthy. It's been quite a while and I miss them. I love their 12 by 12 collections. I do I do get the six by six paper packs, but um, just I really love those collections. So anyway, so because I have that wood beautiful. I know I want some other wood somewhere else. And I found that wood heart there and that's just from a wood pack of hearts from Ellie's studio. So I'll add that in. And this one doesn't need a ton of journaling so that that love journaling card there has plenty of room on that gray label to journal what I need to for this. Just like I said, just documenting her curls. So someday if her hair straightens out that we can remember that. All right, so there's that. Now I want one more heart up by that Remember Collection. This is how I store my wood veneer. It's in like a, a hardware container that you can get at places like Walmart or any hardware store and they're way less expensive than the scrapbooking uh, storage. So that little heart there is from Studio Calico. And then I am going to go and add the word those, so check that out in the still shot and a couple of detail shots that are coming up. Those letters are from uh, Ellie Studio. It's the letters and numbers in white. And then I added a gold small heart where the heart punch is from um, Hobby Not Lobby and the paper is from Michaels. Hope you guys are well and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye!